Good morning, everybody. This is Kobus Kent from SA Forex Trading, and this morning I want to start a series using this series or how to series. And this morning I want to start with a stochastic. It is an indicator. I know when all of us start, or most traders start, a novice trader, usually they get taught the indicators and there is nothing wrong with it. This morning I want to show you how to correctly use the stochastic. Let's quickly look at the stochastic. It is an oscillator, so it's not a trend indicator. There are only two groups. It is a trend indicator that will help you to stay in the trend, and there's oscillators. They will help you with short-term turning points. So the stochastic is an oscillator, and it is a momentum indicator. It will help you with the momentum of the market. Price moves the indicator, not vice versa. I heard the other day that it is a code and that the stochastic will move the market or the price in the opposite direction if certain things happen. That is the biggest nonsense that I've heard. No indicator can move price. Price moves on its own, and then according to price, then the indicator will react or move. Very important. All indicators are lagging. That just confirms my point at number three, is that price will always move the indicator, not vice versa. So let's go look at the stochastic quickly on a chart. This is a chart. You will go to your software, insert indicators. There you can see it's not a trend indicator. It is an oscillator. And you will go click on the stochastic. And here at the bottom, the stochastic will come up. And we're going to look at this 80 and 20 levels. And we're going to look at this indicator and just see what it means and what it can do for us. Now we'll see on this chart, there is an 80 level and a 20 level. Guys, if the momentum is bullish, this indicator will move higher. If the momentum is bearish, the indicator will come lower or the stochastic will come lower. If the market is above the 80 level, we say that the market is overbought. And if the market is, or the indicator rather, is below the 20, we can say that this market is oversold. Now you cannot trade this indicator or take trades on the indicator according to the indicator if the market is in the 80 zone. So it's not move the indicator into the 80 now it's a selling opportunity or if the indicator moves below the 20 line suddenly you must buy. That is incorrect. The correct way to look at this is if the indicator or the momentum in this case, the stochastic is a momentum indicator, it moves out of the 80, then I can confirm that the momentum is changing and the market will go bearish or has a high probability of going bearish. If the market is below the 20, we say that the market is oversold, the momentum is changing and now as the oscillator or the stochastic or the indicator is coming out of the 20, then we can look at buying opportunities. That is the correct way to trade this now but very important now let's look at the next slide here i want to give you a few tips that will help you to use the stochastic in the correct way number one use the indicator to confirm turning points so it is a oscillator and we know that an oscillator gives turning points it's not showing trend use the indicator with your trend very important and we're going to come to that one now if you use this, the stochastic can work for you. Use the indicator with support and resistance analysis or levels. Use the indicator with candle information. And use the indicator to confirm your outlook. So I have nothing against the stochastic. Many people think that I have um, a thing against indicators. Not at all. What I do disagree with is taking trades based on indicators only. Big difference there. Use them to confirm your outlook and to confirm what you are seeing on the charts already. So let's look at trend. Now, many people ask me, what is the trend? And my question always is, what time frame are you looking at? And the reason I say this, let's look at this bearish trend from May 2018 until November 2018. This is the German DAX daily chart. So for the position trader, it is a bearish market. We can clearly see that this market is coming down. But that is not the case for a day trader. 
Look here in September, basically for two weeks, this market is bullish. For it is not a bearish market for a day trader. In September, it was a bullish market. So according to your time frame, that is how you determine trend. Now let's look at this bullish trend from December 2018 for the first five or six months in this period for this instrument. This is the German DAX and there's the bullish trend. Now if you use the stochastic according to what they teach you or most traders teach their students is to sell it when it comes out of the 80 and buy it when it comes out of the 20. That is half the truth. Remember that the momentum is bullish. As the market goes higher, the indicator will stay in the bullish half of this area at the bottom most of the time because most of the momentum is higher. Let's look at all of the sell opportunities if you trade according to that rule only. Sell it once it comes out of the 80. Can you see how many trades are there? Can you see how many trades just went a little bit in your favor and it pushes higher? My suggestion this morning is how to correctly use the indicator. Look at the trend. It is a bullish momentum. It's a bullish trend. You only take the market with buying opportunities. There were two trades in this example here. That is a buying opportunity and that is a buying opportunity. Did this trade work? Yes, you are trading with a trend. Did this trade work? Yes, you are trading with the trend. Two buying opportunities on the stochastic, only, only two trades because the market is trending bullish. My apologies. Let's quickly look at this bearish scenario here. This is a one hour chart. We can clearly see for the day trader or the, for the short term scalper, this is a short term bearish trend over basically two weeks again in May, 7th of May until the 14th of May. So use the stochastic now with your bearish trend. Don't go and buy this bottoms. These bottoms are bearish momentum. It's a bearish market. Only sell it once the stochastic comes out of the 80 because it is a bearish market. Can you see that all three trades worked out? It is showing you the turning points in a bearish market. So you're basically selling the lower highs. In a bullish market, obviously you will buy the higher lows. That is what you want to do. Buy the low and buy the low. Understood? Use the stochastic with your trend. The price will move and then only you can look at the stochastic to respond according to that. Use it with support and resistance levels. What do I say there? Let's go to another time frame maybe to support what I'm saying there. Let's look at an example like this one. We know that this is a support zone. Look at this market. It is a bullish market still. Look at how the market comes down to the second bottom. It is on a support and then you can look for buying opportunities at the support or you can look at selling opportunities at a resistance. Now here's a nice example. The market broke below the upward trend line. It came back to the backside of the trend line. We can know it is close to that resistance. It is at the backside of the trend line and look now at the stochastic. It is giving you the selling signal. It comes out of the 80. It shows you that the market is turning now to a bearish momentum scenario. And then, oh, you can look and trade. So I take my positions or I read the information on the candle formations. Then I go to my stochastic and see what the stochastic says. That is the correct way to trade the stochastic. Go and follow us on Facebook, SA Forex Trading, on Instagram, on Twitter and YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope the stochastic now will help you to get into better trades. Join our analysis and service free for two weeks. Stay in touch with the market 24 hours a day. So please go to our SA Forex Trading page. You will see the link there. You go register. I will invite you to the group and I will give you 24 hours a day. I will give you the analysis. You just look at the charts and the analysis is done for you. 
Thank you, everybody. This is Kubis Kim from SA Forex Trading. I hope you have a good week. Bye-bye.